is up guys your boy AJ and welcome to Rogue Company guys and today's special video guys I'm gonna give you guys the best controller setting that I've used so far throughout this when I when I start playing this game guys I hope the setting help you guys out first what you could do is you guys you go to your setting guys the first thing you do guys the brightness you gotta make sure your brightness is up and good and the second is thing you need is to do is turn off motion blur motion blur when that thing is on oh my god it could hit your eyes <laughs> but anyway guys just turn it off and there you'll be set when it comes to audio I'm up the music the volume the music volume should go down and if some of you guys doesn't want like any copyright strikes on YouTube if you guys are putting videos you should just put it all the way down as zero as possible that's what I'm gonna do right there I'm gonna put it down to zero I don't want the music no copyright strike from YouTube with this damn song even if they all dope post chat leave it on push to talk of the uh, I mean if you guys want that to be on it's your personal personal choice but I will keep it off when we come to controller guys go to your DualShock wireless controller put that up to like a five or like a six both six I usually run it at six sensitivity my horizontal and vertical sensitivity is at 50 50 my acceleration boost at five percent and my acceleration boost multi multiplayer is 0.5 I'm not gonna do that but when it comes to ADS mode it usually hold to interact right so if you guys do that's not what the ADS, the ADS mode is guys that's like if you crouching you gotta hold it and also if you like do like a little roll you gotta hold it if you press both the R3 button will be your crouching mode so that way you can aim and shoot at the same time while you crouching I'm not sure guys what I meant about that okay when it comes to reload interaction they're gonna give you the option that says press you're gonna say press to reload and then hold to interact you go all the way at the end it says press and then press to interact and then reload so once you tap the square button you will reload and you don't have to do anything you don't have to hold the you don't have to hold the square button for you to all you gotta do is just tap it and that's it the whole time since I put it to like interact I don't need the whole time sensor leave that the way it is everything the way it is but when it comes to binding this is what I'm talking about you see where it says crouch and then oh you can change those if you want if you want it to be down you can do that you can link it to anything you want but I'm gonna leave it as all three which is the click you click it but in the future I might switch these two to see how how I interact the AD everything the way sh if you guys want to customize the controller the way you want it to be you can if you guys got like a back paddle like the if you got a scuff controller stuff like that you could use those for the back paddling you know to make it easier for you guys to use and I think this should be the best thing to use right now if you guys want you can turn those two right here and the rest you just do this leave it the way it is for the gameplay guys quick casting I just leave it the way it is you can pick your own language whichever you like display damages number I like to see my, I like to see my number in the screen see how many damage I do so just leave it the way it is the just leave it everything should be in your preference but I leave it the way it is so that way it doesn't matter and social is just basically your region and it's just where you where you from so that's about it this is the best setting I use now I'm gonna save it and this should be it guys for the setting tutorial the best setting to use when it comes to real company guys if you guys enjoyed this video guys make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel show you guys can social social support and I'll see you guys on the next video peace out